Good morning. My name is Sherman Lee Sr. and I'm the proud mayor of the seven-time All-America City and first ever Hall of Fame inductee, Roanoke, Virginia. I'm sorry we are unable to gather in Denver, but excited to join you here from our market building located at the site of the oldest continuously operating market in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Ordinarily, we would begin this presentation with a marching band, a choir, cheerleaders, or something similar. We do know how to throw a party. <laughs> but these are no ordinary times, and for us, that just didn't seem right. We do, do have reason to celebrate. We are a vibrant urban center set amongst the beauty of the Blue Ridge Mountains, a hub of healthcare and biomedical research and cultural center for Southwestern Virginia. We are also a city with its share of challenges, poverty, inequities in health outcomes, and struggling families and neighborhoods. If these examples of our community coming together and addressing challenges head on, that we want to celebrate. That is, after all, what an all-American city does. We look forward to sharing with you how we have together built a culture of health and well-being here in our star city. Thank you for this great honor to be among so many communities working so hard for their residents. Let's start with a quick video overview, then move to our presentation. Nestled in the heart of the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains, Roanoke is home to 100,000 residents. We're a hub for innovation, and we're known for world-class healthcare and biomedical research. Our city is diverse, rich in culture, welcoming, and compassionate. But like all cities, Roanoke has faced challenges as we strive to combat poverty and improve health outcomes. The community has come together to tackle these challenges in a collaborative and comprehensive manner. The HRV Pathways Hub is community empowerment. It's being able to go to someone that you know is truly part of your community, sit down with you, knowing your background, be able to help you navigate the services and getting better care for yourself. Access to healthy food enables healthy lives, but some still lack access to fresh fruits and vegetables. That's where the LEAP neighborhood mobile markets and financial support come in. LEAP allows folks to stretch their dollar by doubling SNAP, EBT, or WIC benefits while bringing fresh food directly to local neighborhoods. I've been coming here ever since March. It's all fresh and healthy fruits and vegetables and bread and cheese and all kinds of other stuff. It supplements me coming to the grocery store, but it also is very community oriented. That keeps me coming back. But healthy residents cannot prosper without safe neighborhoods. One example of efforts on this front is the Community Solutions Center, which transformed a building once associated with crime into a flourishing neighborhood hub. Today we are able to help children eat out of the center. We operate a meal production training program for adults, which actually helps them get a foot into the culinary industry. We actually have community members that come into this building and can utilize the space for meetings that help with systemic issues that are happening right here in this community. This collaborative community approach has advanced our local health culture and engaged our residents, working together to ensure Roanoke is not only an all-America city, but also a healthy community. take this opportunity to just discuss my role in Healthy Rono Valley Pathways Hub Program, which helps those at greatest risk receive coordinated care. I am Antoine Calloway, the HRV Pathways Hub Manager. And with the help of our community health workers, our neighborhood-based community health workers, we work with clients to complete a health, social, and behavioral assessment, and then guide them through a pathway of customized services leading to improved health. 
what may start as a visit to a clinic often turns into securing disability benefits, referring to helping the client, referring to primary care physician and transportation to a medical appointment. What begins as an ER visit turns into securing transportation to a pharmacy for, to pick up prescriptions. Through these types of interactions, we are able to help clients address their real issues and improve the health outcomes for them and their families. In just a few short years, more than 250 clients have been assisted creating over 500 pathways to better health, resulting in more than 356 referrals to services, over $400,000 worth of prescription savings, and 67% reduction in ER visits. And we understand the importance of access to food, health, healthy food, and here's Maureen. Hi, I'm Maureen McNamara Best, Director of Strategic Planning for Local Environmental Agriculture Project, or LEAP. In Roanoke, I'm fortunate to work with partners who employ a social determinants of health lens, just like Antoine in the Hub Program, and understand that healthcare is not just clinical care. Despite the amenities and beauty of the area, not all people in Roanoke have the same lived experience. Families and individuals live in neighborhoods where there's little or no access to healthy, fresh food. Seniors, especially during the pandemic, are unable to travel to get food. And food, especially produce, is expensive and out of financial reach for many people. For LEAP, our efforts to improve health have evolved in partnership with residents and organizations and always employs a systems approach. Our one example, one example of our work in action is the LEAP mobile market, which addresses challenges related to food access, which includes proximity to, affordability of, and education about food, and also food production, including economically viable sales outlets for local farmers and food entrepreneurs. The Leap Mobile Market, a box truck filled with locally grown and nutrient dense food, makes weekly stops in Roanoke City neighborhoods where people have limited access to fresh food. The Mobile Market is combined with robust incentive programs that were developed in partnership with community residents based on community stated needs. And the incentives provide vouchers for free or half off produce for people who participate in SNAP, Medicaid, WIC, CHIP, or even or live in low-income senior housing. The mobile market and incentive programs are made possible in part through generous support from Curling Clinic, a local health care provider, United Way of Roanoke Valley, and Community Foundation serving Western Virginia. The mobile market is directly connected to and supports other important food access programs in Roanoke, including Carillion's Urban Farm, the Library Feed and Read Program, Community Gardens, and Virginia Cooperative Extension's extensive nutrition and education program. Because of community-based partnerships, we have documented results, which include 96% of participants using nutrition incentives who have increased their intake of healthy fruits and vegetables, more than 80 active community garden plots, fresh food prescription programs that reduce BMI, blood pressure, and A1C levels, and more than 90,000 healthy meals that have been provided to area youth since 2014 in large part because of the Community Solutions Center and the work that Cheryl and her team are doing. A notorious nightclub, once the highest crime location in Northwest Roanoke, transformed into a facility providing meal production training for unemployed and underemployed adults, as well as a community meeting space and an outreach space for Roanoke police to strengthen relationship between the police and the community. Good morning. I'm Cheryl Mosley, director of the Community Solution Center. Before it became a high crime nightclub, the location that is now the CSC was once the home of an iconic family owned business. Lowell's restaurant was a thriving business in the late 80s and early 90s, serving some of the best soul food in the city. It was a place where family and friends could enjoy a relaxing Sunday afternoon. Years later, after the property was sold and fell into disrepair, Roanoke Police Captain Rick Morrison rallied members of the community together to try and find a way to take back the property. With time, hard work, and dedication, a partnership was formed between members of the Northwest community, 
Feeding Southwest Virginia, the City of Roanoke, Food Line, and Roanoke Police, and the Community Solutions Center was born. Not only is the CSC providing students with solid career opportunities, it is also feeding hungry children in the process. Students enrolled in the CSC's meal production training program prepare hundreds of meals per day that are distributed to at-risk children in the Roanoke City's after-school and summer feeding programs. The CSC's focus on fresh, locally prepared meals for those in need help address the link between good nutrition and healthy communities. As one of our graduates said, in this program, you learn to incorporate new skills, work as a team, and help the community all at the same time. In addition to the programs that are part of the offerings of the Community Solutions Center, the space is also used to host business leaders, community residents, Roanoke City Police Department, and more, focused on addressing systemic community issues and creating solutions. Good morning. My name is Bob Kyle, and I have the pleasure of being the city manager for the city of Roanoke. Thank you all, and once again, thank you to the jury and to the National Civic League, especially Rebecca, for all that you've done to make this event happen, and especially in light of this year's challenges. I am amazed with all the great work of this year's finalists. It strengthens my conviction that local government, working in partnership with its residents in collaboration with community partners, is how our greatest challenges will be overcome. We thank you for the opportunity to celebrate just a few of the initiatives we have underway, highlighting our culture of health built on a collective impact, addressing complex issues, employing a framework that is grassroots, collaborative, data-driven, evidence-based, and comprehensive. I and this great array of partners that we have here now look forward to answering your questions that you might have. 